Welcome everyone in this uh, process equipment uh, troubleshooting serial. Today I will talk about centrifugal pumps troubleshooting. Usually in the industry there is a five major uh, common problems for the centrifugal pumps. The first one is that the pump is not giving any liquid delivery or the pump is giving low liquid flow rate. Maybe the pump is oscillating or intermittent operation. Maybe the uh, pump is giving low discharge pressure or excessive power demand for the pump. The first problem, which is no liquid delivery, what could be the reason for that? The first reason, it could be an instrument error. This means that our flow meter is giving misleading information and we have to recheck it. Maybe the pump is not uh, primed, so we have to stop and prime again the pump. Maybe some corrosion cavitation is taking place and we have to, uh, in this case, we have to uh, investigate what is the causes for that? Maybe there is a low net positive suction head uh, delivered for this pump. And in this case, we have to stop and check the impeller mechanically. Maybe the supply tank itself is empty. And uh, in this case, we have to check the level physically, uh, calibrate the instrument related to the tank, or check our standard operating procedure to make sure that we, uh, there is a proper level in any tank before we start the related pump. The second problem could be low liquid flow rates. In this case, the reason for that, it could be also an instrument error. So we have to check our instrument. Maybe it is misleading, it's not correct. It could be cavitation either for the casing for the impeller. In this case, we have to investigate the history of the suction pressure. And as we said before, we need to check our impeller mechanically. It could be non-condensable in the liquid. In this case, we have to check the supply source, maybe one line going to the common line of the suction of the pump is giving us some gases or some uh, non-condensable. In this case, this would definitely will affect uh, the flow uh, of the pump. Maybe the inlet strainer is clogged. In this case, we have to check, clean the strainer and put the, the um, pump again in operation and see what will be the result. The third problem is intermittent operation. The reason for that it could be cavitation as we said and in this case also we have to check the impeller mechanically maybe the pump is not well primed so we have to stop and check and prime again the pump properly maybe some non-condensable also is coming with the liquid in this case we have to check our supply sources in this regard the fourth problem could be low discharge pressure in this case the reason for that it could be also an instrument error giving a misleading maybe it's not right we have to check and calibrate our pressure gauges or something maybe the non-condensable in the liquid in this case also as we said we need to check our supply source because this mix of gas or non-condensable with the liquid would not gonna uh, it will affect uh, the performance of the pump maybe the pump is running with at very low speed in this case we have to check our power supply, uh, maybe the connections, or we can check our variable speed controller if there is a variable speed controller at, attached to this pump. Maybe there is a wrong direction of rotation is taking place. This means that we need to reinstall the impeller in the right direction. The last problem is excessive power demand. The possible reasons is the pump is running at very high speed. In this case, we need to check our power supply connection. Uh, calibrated or to check our variable speed controller if we are installing variable speed controller to make sure it is running as designed it could be high liquid density uh, in this case we need to check the applied service or tank condition maybe the, the tank heater is not working or there is a contamination from other liquid affecting the total final density of the service or we are using this pump for another liquid uh, not for the one that it was designed for, like using a pump to pump uh, water instead of oil, where the pump is designed for oil. Uh, the third possible reason will be system uh, head lower than expected. This means that uh, the, 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 the system head, um, if the pump is giving against very low resistance from, from, the, from, from the system, so definitely it will take because it will deliver more because there is no upfront resistance in the front of the pump. So in this case, we need to check that the pump is working as per design uh, system head uh, that it was made for it. Um, it could be also a high liquid viscosity. 
and this could be due to uh, either the the temperature of the of the tank or contamination from other liquid that affecting the final uh, liquid viscosity to make it more viscous and this will make the pump take more power than the design one at the end i would like to thank you all for your listening to this uh, uh, video and i appreciate all your feedback or comments that can help us to improve more and see you in the next part